Okay, question number two. A 1,500 kilogram car is moving on a flat horizontal curve. So it is moving like this. If the radius of the curve is 35 meter and the coefficient of static friction is 0.5, find the maximum speed of the car can have and still make the turn successfully. The past two, we also have to find the coefficient of static friction when the speed of the car is 8 meter per second. Okay, so before we start, let me just redraw the diagram. Um, so we, go, we are going to look at this at the side view. Okay, so this is our corner. Okay, they check up their move horizontal. Kan? So let's assume this is our car. Okay, konon konon nya la bulat nya la mana saya melukis. Okay, so this is our car. Ibu tu, eh, sorry. Okay, so this is our car. The bus to the car has a tangential velocity. Ya begitulah. Okay, tangential. Hmm. Boleh lah, tangential velocity begitu. Okay. Right. So we know that the free body diagram for this. Let's draw the free body diagram. So this is our weight of the car. Normal force. Plus two, we have the static friction going towards the center, okay? Towards the center of the circle. So this is mg, this is n, this is the static friction. Okay, remember the direction for this is towards the center. Okay? Right, now... We can then continue in calculating the speed. Okay, so the speed is kita guna F net equal to M A C. Okay, ataupun kamu tulis F C equal to M A C. Right. So the only, uh, the only, uh, force yang is here, which is going towards the center of the circle, ataupun yang following the direction of the centripetal acceleration is just the fr static friction. Okay, so it is just F S equal to m v square over r. Okay, so F S is mu S n equal to m v square over r, and we know that total force at y here is equal to zero, which is n minus m g. Equal to zero. Okay, coba. Ah, ya. Tobi. Ni mac. Coba, coba. My cat is. He's tapping on my laptop. I can't really see the answer scheme. Okay, right. Plus two mv square minus mv square over r. So this is n equal to mg. So just substitute this value into here to find the value of v. Okay, so v is just mu s n r over m. So v is mu s n r over m. Okay, so v is aduh tulis balik balik pula. So mu s m g radius over m. So the m here can be cancelled. Uh, you should be getting the velocity to be equal to 13.10 13.10 So 13.1 meter per second Right? So that is the speed yang it can The maximum speed the car can have To be able to make the turn successfully Okay? Okay, lepas tu next question We have to find when V V is 8 pula Eh, so when v is 8 mu dia berapa ok so just do the same thing uh, fc is equal to mac so it, this one is just fs 
mb square over r mu s n square r uh, this time mu s lah kita cari so mb square over r n ok mb square r m g you should get the coefficient of static friction to be equal to 0.186 okay so if we look at this the mu s for the first question is 0.5 right and then this one is 0.186 which is smaller so because of this uh, coefficient of static friction is smaller the car is most likely to skid on the wet road if it goes up to eight meter per second okay right so um, that is the solution for question number two.